inside a bar in Shoreditch in London. But this snappily dressed man in a flat cap isn't here for a drink. It's the laptop on the floor he's after. A few nimble moves and hey presto, he picks up the unsuspecting drinker's computer and just walks away. A different bar almost seven months earlier and he's at it again. He spots what he wants and moves in, swiping another laptop. And same hat, same MO, this time another bar in Shoreditch. He casually uses his foot and steals another computer from right under the owner's nose. The brazen thief even hangs around at the bar before leaving with the stolen goods. Put a stop to this laptop lifter. You know what to do. Now, listen carefully to this one. Private CCTV picks up the sound as these men break into an 88-year-old man's home in Widnes in November last year. They search through the pensioners' possessions. A third man joins them. They take war medals and thousands of pounds worth of other valuables, leaving the victim extremely distressed. Do you recognize these low-life thieves? November again and still in Cheshire, but this time inside a building society in Runcorn. This man pulls out a gun and points it at a terrified worker. Demanding money, he then moves to the next cashier, and then the next, stashing more cash than he can carry. He then walks out, calm as you like, with £6,000 of loot. It's hard to see his face, but someone knows who this gun-wielding bank robber is. Name, please. Lunchtime outside a shop in Toxteth in Liverpool. A security guard arrives to fill the cash machine inside, closely followed by this man in a green hoodie and shorts. In the store, the man in shorts grabs the box before legging it down the street with thousands of pounds in cash. It's hardly subtle, so who is this quick dash cash thief? Another shop, this time a jeweler's in St Ives in Cornwall. This man isn't hanging around for opening though. After smashing his way in, he picks up a rubbish bin and heads behind the counter. He forces open a cabinet and fills the bin with expensive jewellery. He then leaves the shop with his haul, worth £30,000. Recognise him, swap his bracelets for handcuffs and shop him. Finally, we have this fella, out shopping on a Wednesday afternoon in September. He's after some high-end jewellery. The only problem is... He doesn't want to pay for it. He asks the assistant if he can look at two expensive watches from the window display before sitting down to try the first one on, then the second. No prizes for guessing what happens next. A quick glance at the exit and he sprints out of the shop, still wearing the two watches worth over £2,000 each. Call time on this crime watch thief and name him tonight. In CCTV of a shocking attack on a woman in South London. This footage shows the moment the woman was punched several times in the attack in Hanover Park in Lewisham on Friday the 4th of December. She was left unconscious on the pavement as the attacker ran off. Now detectives believe it's linked to two other violent attacks on lone women in the Lewisham area in December and January. In this CCTV a woman is followed home at Creekside at around 5 a.m. on New Year's Day, just out of sight of the camera, she's grabbed and punched unconscious. In the third attack on Friday, the 4th of December, another woman was grabbed and punched in the head several times in commercial way. Now, police would like to speak to this man in connection with their inquiries. If you can help, please, please, please do get in touch with us using the numbers on the screen. Police are offering a £20,000 reward in connection with the case. 
Well, also in London, the Met Police want your help in tracking down a group responsible for a large-scale disturbance on the 31st of October last year. Police came under attack when they tried to break up an illegal Halloween rave on Lambeth High Street. 23 officers were injured, as was a police dog, as the disturbance spread over the surrounding streets, continuing into the early hours. Well, joining me now is Commander B.J. Harrington from the Met. Commander, a very good evening to you. These are pretty ugly scenes. I mean, this was some of the most serious public disorder we've seen in, in some years. Um, we've had officers attacked with bottles, bricks, paving slabs, even a petrol bomb, many of them hospitalised. And, of course, we had police dog Maverick that was kicked and beaten and sprayed with a noxious substance. And, of course, a South London community that has been terrorised throughout the night. I think it's really important to stress that the people who arrange these, these unlicensed music events are putting people's lives at risk. And as you see from the, from the video, uh, they're prepared to use a lot of violence when we try to stop them. So, Commander, a pretty big disturbance. What is the latest? You've made 73 arrests. No doubt you're looking to make more tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's four faces here of people we'd like to identify to arrest. Uh, and we want to be really clear. We'll be relentless in tracking these people down. And also the other 45 people uh, who are on our website who we want to identify. Uh, Commander, thank you very much indeed. If you recognise anyone in this footage then please call the numbers on the screen now check out this incredible cctv of a bungling burglar who knocks himself out after falling through a garage roof in south wales david powers police are investigating the attempted burglary at pante garage in Llethley. happened around 12 30 and 1 a.m last thursday the man was attempted to break in he was unconscious for around five minutes before his accomplice climbed down to see if he was okay both then flee empty-handed poor lad if you know who these men are then do give us a call.